train your angry dragon. Train your angry dragon. Hello, my name is Andrew, but you can call me Drew. I have a nifty pet by the name of Diggledy Drew. Diggledy is no common pet like a goldfish, dog, or a cat. Nope, Diggledy is a dragon. Now, what do you think of this? All told, dragon ownership is truly pretty swell. I have learned that it's important to train your dragon well. First, you start with common tricks like roll over, sit and stay. Then, you must poppy train your dragon and teach him how to play. For instance, when I throw a ball, Diggory could catch it. I throw a stick, country mile, and I bet you he could fetch. I can put him on a leash, and I can walk around the neighborhood. My a dragon is a perfect pal if you train him to be good. But a dragon looks different from any other cat. The dragons have a temper, and they pull a flaming track. Have you ever seen a dragon run? He doesn't get his way. He throws a temple tantrum. That is sure he wounds your dad. When you see an angry dragon, you don't want to be around for anything that is in his way. He will burn it to the ground. First he huffs and he puffs, then he fills his lungs with air, and when he breathes in out again, you really must be aware. Okay. Diggory loves the swings and the slides and the features. At the park, he could fly there all day long from morning until dark. But once there was a one and Diggory had to wait his turn, he began to look around for something he could burn. <laughs> I caught a sniff of snow, and I stood there most again. I had to think of something, and I had to think it fast. So I said, when you must wait, here's something you can do. Think of all the time that someone has to wait on you. One day, we met some other boys, but they weren't very nice. They go to nearly lost his cool. So I gave him some of what. When you meet a boy, there's no reason you should stay. Don't burn from down to Chris. Just turn and walk away. Okay. The other dragon Diggory hates when someone tells him no. Like no cookies before dinner or no, you may not go. When you don't get your way, slowly count to ten. It gives you time to cram yourself. You will feel better then. Calm. One day it was raining and he could not go outside. So Diggory stomped his feet and pouted and he cried. So I told him that when angry thoughts begin to fill his head, he can make them go away by thinking happy thoughts. Instead, Diggory wants when the, he plays with other girls and boys, but he forgets his manners when he has to share his toys. Instead of getting mad, here's what you should do. Just treat the other children how you want them to treat you. 
A temple is a type of thing a dragon should not use. That's why I taught my dragon some tricks he could use. Then they come in handy for well, my good friend, Dickory Joe. Perhaps you must feel him when you try them too.